and welcome to our channel in a previous uh, biology from two transport in plants and animals that is in lesson one we have talked about the definition of transport importance of transport and uh, transport in uh, lower and higher organisms in this lesson I would like us to talk about uh, number one transport in plants number two internal structure of the root diagram of transfer section of uh, dicot and monocot roots and then we are going to compare the differences between a transfer section of a dicot root and a monocot root uh, from there we will discuss uh, a diagram of uh, longitudinal function of uh, a dicot root and the roots we will also talk about function of the various parts of the root now to start with transport in plants now here we have simple plants that is lower plants such as uh, mosses and liverworts they meet their transport needs by simple division uh, this is because we said in a previous les lesson that uh, lower organisms uh, have small body size therefore they have a large surface area to volume ratio meaning the rate of division is high hence the efficient alone is sufficient for transportation of uh, substances but for higher plants such as uh, dicots and monocots uh, because they have uh, a large body size then it means now division alone is not sufficient therefore they have a transport system known as vascular bundle now vascular bundle is a tissue because it is made up of uh, xylem and phloem it said that the function of xylem is to conduct water and mineral salts from the soil to the rest of the plants while phloem conducts or translocates uh, soluble manufactured food from the leaves to the rest of the plant now nb vascular bundle is spread through the roots stem and leaves now from there we need to know the internal structure of the root why do we need to talk about uh, the roots? The reason is because within the roots we have the vascular bundle. Now, under the roots, we need to know the function of the root. Number one, it helps in anchorage, that is support. Number two, it helps in absorption of water and mineral salts from the soil to the rest of the plant. Number three, it helps for storage, that is some plants such as carrots, sweet potato, beetroots they store their food in the roots number four it helps in gaseous exchange hence they are called breathing roots or nematophs e.g in mangroves now from there we need to discuss uh, the diagram of transfers sanction of a dicot root e.g bean or sunflower this is how the diagram looks like in case you are asked from which organ of the plant is this section obtained from then the answer should be a root because it has a root hairs now you can see the parts we have the root hair we have the epidermis cortex the endodermis we have xylem phloem which are the vascular bundle we also have the pericycle now we also have the transfer section of a monocot root e.g. maize this is how the diagram looks like we have the root hairs the epidermis cortex endodermis xylem phloem pericycle pericycle and uh, pith now we need to compare and contrast these two uh, sanctions that is the transfer section of a dicot root and a monocot root and therefore one difference is that in dicot the xylem is star shaped and is at the center in which the phloem is found between the arms of the xylem while in monocot root the xylem alternates in the arrangement with the phloem now difference number two Dicot lacks pith, while monocot has a pith in the center. From there, we need to discuss the diagram of longitudinal sanction of a dicot root. This is how the diagram looks like. 
you can see we have the root hairs, cortex, the phloem, xylem, pericycle, apical meristem, and the root cap. You can also see the zone of, uh, you can also see regions of growth, that is zone of cell division, zone of cell elongation, and zone of cell differentiation. That is the end of our lesson for today. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.